Hey, what's good guys? Hope you're all doing okay. The markets seem to be warming up again. Today is the 29th of January, so I think it's starting to warm up again. I was looking at this NAS, but it's kind of right now. I don't think I would have actually really taken it. We're kind of sitting on the 200. I just liked it because this liquidity grab kind of broke the low here, but I just thought I'd come on, say hello before I take any trades, and yeah, I'll see you when I see a setup, I guess. See you then. All right, so GJ's doing some quite nice actions. We see it's coming off a one hour demand, high probability above 200, scale down. So this five minute demand, we're now coming off a liquidity grab. And if that comes straight down to zone, I know we're under the 200, but you know, first break of structure is usually a winner. So we've broken this minor here. It's got so many lines, hold on. Broke this minor here, then these two top wicks. So I believe we may be entering an uptrend. We failed to break a low here. So it seems like a change in sentiment. So we'll see how fast that comes to zone. And obviously we'll see rejections and stuff like that. Yeah, all in all, I do quite like it. I mean, if people are getting in on this liquidity grab, the one to one is exactly around this demand. I don't know if that's kind of waffle to say that it could be exhaustion. You know, it comes down, everyone's getting out around there. I think that is just kind of waffle, but I don't know, this could lead to a quite nice trade. I did see this G before because we broke this low. I just didn't like how on like higher time frame, made a new high, failed to make another low here. So what I was really looking for was this to be a minor and then this to break a low before I take any sales because this isn't really enough for me. Kind of see it as counter trend right now. The whole market is just completely consolidatory though. So, so yeah, I'm not too sure what price wants to do. That NAS 15 minute that I was talking about, I'm not sure if my face cam was covering it. Yeah, it was this 15 minute. Uh, there was another one above, both with five minute high probabilities you can scale down to. There was liquidity sitting above, so it could push up and then come down. But I mean, it hasn't hit a one to one yet. Came out the gate swinging, those rejections. I think I'm just gonna wait for this GJ. So I'll see you if this wants to hit. All right, so right now it's actually low key coming to zone. So I thought I'd press record. Of course, we're still gonna have to see rejections and stuff like that, but just for the off chance that this is a winner. I think I'll do a little intro. That 15 minute Naz actually did win. Looking at it now though, like no, to be honest. Like away from zone, the only break of structure we really have to the downside is this tiny liquidity grab. We just broke a high here, so I'm not really too sure why I was looking at that, but I guess it won. All right, so about to tap zone. I'm gonna go mutts out on MetaTrader. It's actually meant to be this one just here, I believe. This shows as a bullish candle on trading view, but I prefer the trading view readings to my broker. Rejections are already looking good. So um, of course we'll wait for break of candle, but good chance this is the trade I take. 30 seconds till close of this candle. So entry will still be up here. As far as waypoints go, there kind of aren't really many. There's not really any gaps to fill. I guess maybe like high resistance liquidity, which I don't really like, but as far as rejections go, yes, this is very, very nice. Let's hope we can get a retest and slight consolidation at zone so we get a better entry. So we decrease risk. Although I guess it's said as the same risk, we just increase possible profits type shit. Sorry, I was just looking for a new colour because my box was like piss green. But um, this is just what I'm going to have to deal with for now. Because I don't really use MetaTrader for markings. I usually, you know, look at it in trading view. So then I can see where the break of candle is. But I mean, if I'm doing these live trades, then you need to see too when I'm taking the entry. So I'll mark out current break of candle as well, which is currently all the way up here. But like I said, in two minutes time the break 
should come down here if we don't obviously break that high in this candle but two minutes time is a lot of time when you're trading on the five minute so we'll see one more minute on this candle Thirty more seconds let's get it We're seeing pretty far pushes into this zone. So if it is a fake out, then that's why we're getting a break of candle. But I mean, rejections still are so nice. So we will just have to wait and see. Jesus Christ, brother. Got no business being this low. <laughs> I mean, before this candle stop was all the way up here, so that's literally gone from a 2.5 to 1, all the way down to a 1.25 to 1, simply from spreading that stop loss. Wow. I mean, considering how far that did come down into the zone, we're still getting good rejections. You know, it came down with a lot of momentum and we're showing a lower wick. So, you know, got a lot of pressure to the upside. But the fact that these lower wicks are present shows that there is a lot of selling power in the market. I mean, we've just broke above the 200 with that, you know, break of structure. So yeah, we'll have to see. I've moved down break of candle, but I'm not actually sure if I would get in there. I may want a slight more push up before I consider it. Seem to have entered a range on GU. I believe this was actually a slight liquidity grab as well. Don't really want to trade a range right now. I want to get some good supply and demand back in action. But I mean, from this GJ zone, which I've been looking at for, I don't know how long. Yeah, don't think I'm getting it there. Okay, so in less than a minute, we're going to create a new candle, meaning a new break of candle entry, which would be all the way down here. But the fact that it's in zone, I'm not too sure. I'll probably keep break of candle all the way up here just so we're getting pushes out of zone as opposed to entering whilst we're still in zone. I think that sounds good to me. Okay, so it's given first break of candle. To be fair, I might just get in here because I'm guessing spreads is somewhere up there. It's telling me. Going on two positions. So it's only a 0.5% risk trade. Yeah, I went into risk that. I just like the fact that it's even presented an upper wick. Because then we're finally seeing that there is buying power in the market. And you know, small, lower wick. I think we're taking over with the sentiment. I'm just going to remove this box. You see my entry. I just want to see candles better. So, I think that was the line. I meant to. There you are. So pushing above entry price, which is always a good sign. What's gonna make me really confident is on the next candle in 30 seconds is obviously a break of this candle. Cause then, you know, I would see breaking to the upside. Preferable. It's very jumpy right now though. Seems volatile, but it's not going in either direction. It's just tweaking. It's 
I don't like that candle open, but gonna have to see it through. If it breaks candle to the downside, I may look to close out and look for a re-entry if it doesn't invalidate zone. So then I can just minimize, I mean, you know, like potential losses. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We can hope. As for waypoints, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get out there. I'll wait for another break of candle on this candle. Just up here. There seems to be a lot of downwards pressure and I'm not trying to take a full 0.5% risk. I think it's a quite a clear pace to cut, you know, like cut losses, sorry. So yeah, we'll see for the re-entry. Risking 0.5 was probably the move there. Just considering the volatility downwards. Like I said, I'm getting in if I see another break of candle up here, but if it breaks down what I mean here, that would invalidate zone. E if either one of get these get hit. E if either one of get these get hit, then that's gonna be the turnout for this trade. I think quite a lot has happened, so it's still maybe a live trade, even if I don't take. Just cutting that loss and then waiting for another re-break. I mean risking 0.5, I managed to cut loss at like a 0.35 down so this is what I kind of expected considering it is the Monday of NFP week I don't have very high hopes for this week but I hope we can catch a couple dubs and if I keep this discipline then I believe that is very likely we're seeing bullishness in this candle, so. Yeah, so that would have been stop loss hit anyway. Managed to cut loss just seeing all of that downwards momentum present, so I'm fine with that. I think that will be me done for the day. It's even invalidated the zone. Yeah. All in all, it was a very nice setup, and I mean, even how it played out, it could have gone much worse. It's just never preferable to take a loss, you know what I mean? As far as the news goes, there was no 130 news today, hence why I'm holding up to 122. I mean, yeah, invalidated, not much more to say on that. It was a 0.35% risk, and take profits were a bit ambitious, but that would have been a 1% gain. Put all my cards out on the table and it gave me what I wanted to. NFP week. Fuck it. I can't really say I didn't expect it. It's continuing to show bearish right now. Pretty shit way to start the week, but I mean, I think my mentality, I wasn't emotionally attached to it. I think I'll just see you later, guys. Hope you guys managed to cut losses on this. If you did take it, I think quite a few people took it. I saw talks of it circulating around Mangoes after I already had entered Mangoes Discord into the description. So is mine and my Insta, so go run up those as well. Yeah, I think that's all she wrote. Thanks for watching. Let's try and catch a dub this week.